such an exciting day because we have launched this new feature to help you work out what clothes, colors you suit. It's something that I've been asked so often. Whenever I meet any of you, you say, Trini, what clothing color should I suit to go with my makeup and vice versa. Now, we've done this since we launched for your makeup that looking and putting in your skin, hair and eye color, we can tell you what makeup you should wear. But now we've brought the whole thing together and we're going to be able to help you to decide if I wear certain colors also, what colors do they go with? This is my second most asked question in this area. So this is how, I'm gonna show you how it works first, then we're gonna take all the questions and might get people online saying, what colors am I? I have lots of things, gonna be a fun little half hour. Now, um, if you go on to Match To Me right now, you go on the website and you just click Match To Me, and when you click Match To Me, you'll notice the makeup one has now been updated, and it says, Find the perfect combination of your skin, hair, and eyes, and now discover your perfect clothing colors too. So you go and do the match to me, and then you're gonna get, by the way, this has changed as well. When you get your match to me return, we've given you your exact matches in your makeup for day and night. You no longer have to think. And we thought about what colors go together in a lip glow, an eye to eye, and a lip to cheek, and then you can go night there, and you get the right colors and an extra eye to layer on, but then down here, oh, your clothing color palette appears like this. So we've got them into different categories. So the first thing is you get this whole array of colors and it could be that you look and think, oh, I don't wear burgundy because it was my school uniform color. That's fine. This is a suggestion. This is my 30 years of research and I've done this also in my book. So the book there, because it's printed, the colors might not be as vibrant as on the website. And this is the magic, this is where the magic happens. So if I click on the deep lavender there, let's see how I happen to do that. It goes, ah, with deep lavender, your two complementary shades, if you want to be safe, it's that lovely deeper, tonally the same, or you could do a bright yellow mix. Otherwise I might look and think, oh, what do I wear with? Dark cyan, so, oh, I love this color palette so much. Dark cyan there, which is for neutral cools. Um, and then you could wear a lovely khaki with it or a beautiful purple. Look at that color palette. So these are the, just the two complementary shades. And we talk a little bit about the color. So dark cyan, let's see what we've said. A vibrant, striking hue inspired by deep cyan shades, excluding energy, modernity, and sophistication. We talk a little bit about what the color means, where it comes from. It's just, it's like bringing together everything I stand for in terms of when we want to put ourselves together, get into our day, feel totally fearless. If we're wearing colors that exude, perhaps sometimes the confidence we don't feel, we'll get more of it, but also everything works synergistically. So if you wear sort of very warm shades on your face and cool tones on your body, sometimes we can look a little cut off. And if you, you know, wear warm and cool here, like a really warm eyeshadow and really cool lips. Sometimes you might look and think, why does my makeup not look put together? And, and those are the simplest reasons why it could be. This is why so many women already who do match to me to get their makeup choices understand our color theory. And I'm so happy we've extended it to clothing. Not selling the clothes yet, but giving you inspiration. Now, how long did it take me and the methodology I want to go through with you too? But are there any questions yet, darling? Yes, we've got, um, how are these colours chosen for me? Will they be updated for each season or do they remain the same? No, I think when we look at seasonality, a lot of people tend to perhaps in the summer months and when there's more colour, you know, light in the sky, they wear stronger colours. My theory is whatever the weather wear a color that's going to take you through the day beautifully. Obviously in the summer, we might think more yellows and pinks and whites, but this is just your universal look. So I am, I'm gonna bring you up mine now. I'm neutral, so I go on the website. I mean, I'll show you here on the book. This is my neutral palette, and this is replicated exactly on the website. Now, of all those colors, I actually probably in the winter might wear more of those purpley navy shades and I might wear khaki more, and I might wear maybe the reds more in the winter, but the other ones I'll wear all year round. And 
by looking at them together next to each other, you get a sense of what suits each other. So if you just look at the general palette here, this is the colors you suit, and it says to you at the beginning what category you fall under. So this says to me, when I've done my match to me, your profile is neutral. We have five categories, and you have striking blue eyes, neutral bronze hair, and a rosy olive skin tone. So it's thing, okay, I know I've got that. So when I look down here, it's so helpful for me when I look at certain shades to think what are the tones that go with those because these are all tonally correct. Generally cool toned people have strongest colors and they're not at all warm. On the other end of the scale, warm toned people have those lovely rich earth tones, things that are in a fire and very much in a way nature colors. And then in the middle, neutral, where I sit, you can take a bit of both. And then you have neutral war and neutral cool. So there's five categories that people fit into. When we do match to me on makeup, there's 3,600 women that we've taken it from and we then refine it. So for doing color palettes, there's obviously some people who will go more towards um, the brights or more towards muted shades. And you can look in that palette and think, oh, I don't love yellow. So you might just look at the other combinations. But if you thought, I always wanted to wear yellow, then you can see which yellow you suit and what colors you could wear yellow with that could be a little bit more muted so you can get a hint of yellow in. So this is how it works. And when I was doing it, I had a ton of these. I can't tell you how many Pantone books I went through. This is my original work when I was doing this before I got to my shade. And I would go back and forth and think, where does that colour sit? You know, years ago I had my colours done, autumn, winter, spring, summer, and I never felt I was correctly diagnosed. And I just thought I want a simple route for people. And more importantly, I want them to understand if I choose to wear this colour, what colours does it go with? And there's some surprising choices in there. You might think, oh, I didn't know I should wear orange and cobalt blue together. But I've gone and either gone the opposite of the color wheel, because I think that the, we have the color wheel. I'm gonna show you a color wheel now just to show you a bit of color history. So let's do a little bit of color theory. Now, when you look at colors, there's a color wheel. Something I always refer to when I'm doing um, makeup videos, we talk about colors, and when I'm doing um, closet confessions, and Friday twinning on my channel. But generally, I think colors should be worn in the following way, is that you might say, this is my tone, purple. So you can go either side, like that is your colors. You can go opposite. So if you're wearing purple, it's fantastic with sort of yellowy, greeny yellow, all right? But you can do something else called triangulation, which is that you look at a color you like and you go triangulate that way and that way. So purple can look good with that sort of limey green or heading towards orange. And then if you do it on any of the color wheel, you're gonna get that. So the opposite of a Colbert blue, sorry if you can see that, is orange. So you're gonna get that as one of your colors. But you might also get in the tones a lovely sort of aqua to go with that Colbert blue. And if you triangulate, you can go towards the orangey pinks or you can go towards yellow, like an Ikea signage. So. The colour wheel is the essence of colour theory, it's where colour theory really comes from, it's looking at the colour wheel. And I think the other important things are tone and undertones of colour. So if you have warm undertones predominating your colouring, you suit colours that are sort of more muted and warmer in tone, like a tomato -y red as opposed to a pillar box red, or a mustard yellow as opposed to a neon yellow, those are two opposite ends of the scale. And when I've done my um, Closet Confessions films where I've done color, I'd always refer to this cool, cool, neutral, 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 warm and warm. And you've always asked me to explain that and show that. So that is me doing this now. To be able to go on the website, trinilondon.com, click on Match to Me, it's in the top line navigation bar, see the Match to Me for makeup and you'll see there, also see your colors for clothing. It's there for you to try. I'm so excited to get the feedback on it. I'm going to now, I've got to take some questions. Hasn't anyone put tabs in your book? Hasn't any tabs in the book? We have these tabs here like the, oh yes, hasn't anyone put tabs in my book? They haven't, have they? Um, there we have tabs at the top. 
but this is such a, a big book. There's so much in it. So I can't wait. This is the beginning of this journey. There's a, there's a lot more that will be added in. And it just shows that we like to bring together what's important to put somebody together in the day. And the two are so connected. So I'm very, very excited today that we've launched this new feature on Trini London. And I hope you'll love it and tell all your friends about it too. Have a great day. Bye.